Uh, welcome to Adocon Digital World. Uh, today we'll be presenting you with another video. Uh, this time around it's going to be much more different from what we've been giving to you because it's not much more electronic but rather it's involved power and uh, other stuff. I know for those of us that are having power challenges and we so much use uh, alternative source to power, we will appreciate this pre uh, project very well. Now what we have in front of us is an automatic changeover. Now it might be looking too common but this one has special feature. Now this particular one is so smart that it stops the generator when your main supply is available and when your main supply is out of sup uh, that is, is out your generator which is your alternate power supply or your inverter automatically comes on. Now this device is designed to protect your generator because in most cases you will have to pull the choke of your generator and you have to control the fuel uh, that is the the fuel flow of your generator now this device does that exactly now the one we have in front of us is capable of driving a load of up to 7 kilowatts to 8 kilowatts that is pretty good for a domestic uh, that is uh, for a household uh, application now I wouldn't want to take you so much into the configuration inside this so technical but of course I will be glad to show you how this operates. It's very simple to connect. We've got labels here. Now deep down here is the generator line and of course I've already connected my generator. This is the generator because this is my generator here and over here again is my load and of course you can see my load is connected to the bulb this exactly will be the one supplying your house now the last one here it's my PHCN power supply that is my main power supply now what I'll be doing is switching between my generator and my PHCN that is my uh, main power supply of course you'll be wondering what these wires are doing over here these wires control the switching and other features that protect this generator such as controlling fuel level uh, that is fuel flow and also monitoring the fuel level of the tank so that we, we don't just put on this generator without knowing what is obtainable and of course it controls switching and it controls uh, uh, the choke uh, uh, adjustment because most of the time when you have to start the gen for some reason you have to pull the choke this automatically don't will do it now just over here so that I'll, of course here is the circuit tray that takes care of that because now what do i have here because you notice i have two lamps here this other lamp is indicating the availability of your main supply whereas this other lamp here the yellow lamp it indicates uh, your generator uh, supply now i have the gen start push button and the gen stop push button. Now, of course, there are a tendency that sometimes this device might fail to function at a time. Now, we don't just want it to be too dormant that you will not be able to use that. Now, this is an alternate way to operate this device. By just pushing this, you will automatically switch over to your generator. That is when NEPA is uh, when the main supply is. Uh, unavailable and this will also stop that now I have uh, two real starts here now this one here con uh, control the number of kick trial of course we expect that whenever we want to do uh, start our generator one kick might not be enough and of course a thousand kick might also not be too good now uh, the end user is at liberty to adjust now as you adjust this the number will the number of kick will also uh, vary accordingly to, that is the way you adjust it because it's yet to be calibrated of course that is in mind we'll calibrate it but right now it's between three and ten trials of kick that is to say after the set minimum uh, trial of kick if the generator doesn't come on it gives you a notification that the generator don't come on and we have a buzzer here the buzzer sound so that you actually know that your generator it's not on right good now the second one here controls the time delay to switch over to uh, your main supply because sometimes main supply may just be a flash 
and we don't want that to happen. So if it doesn't stay for an appreciable time, of course, we don't switch to it. But then you are still left to uh, choose the delay. If you want it to be zero, of course, you set it to the uh, minimum. And if you want it to be at the highest, which is two minutes, you set it there. That is, we have between zero and two minutes. That can also be varied. Now, we have another toggle switch here. Written there, we have auto start off. The on is down. Now, what is happening here is this. There are tendency that I just want to start this generator once. If that is the case, I don't need to put off. I don't need to put on this switch. But if I want this... Uh, generator to be coming on whenever there is no light, that is whenever the uh, main power supply is off, then I have to put it on. Put it in on will bring up this LED. That is to say anytime my main supply goes off, then the generator automatically starts. That's what it means. Now over here is the power button. Of course, you see what's happening. The power button is just mean, uh, meant to just power on the device. And of course, you see what happened? And that's to say this guy is on that's why it is now for the sake of this demonstration at the moment we don't have our main power supply and we'll be using uh, the ups over here to represent our main power supply of course connected to it and this is our load and this is it now i'm expected that by the time i power on this device even though this is not powered on i expect that my load comes on that is exactly what it is. But if this is on, it has to create an, a, a, a delay. So let's go off with it. Now, here's my generator over here. And of course, if I have to do this, I don't need to do any serious work. All I need to do is to put on this device over here. I will go my way. And what happened? Of course, my generator starts. My generator starts, and after I have to stabilize, and that's why I'm having my light. Now, if PHCN returns, my UPS is on, my PHCN is on. Because of the delay I cause, it's going to take a little while before it switches. So I'll just hold on for this delay. Because immediately the delay that took place because of the delay I had, and that's why I switch off, uh, switch to the PHCN. Now, because this toggle switch is off, even if my power supply goes off, nothing happens. The generator will not start. This is because I don't want it to keep starting. But if I want it to continue starting, I just need to put off, uh, put on this, and the generator comes on again. It's as simple as that. It's going to take a little delay because we have to make the gen set stabilizes before connecting it. We can't just do that directly. And if this goes, let's say my pass, my PHCN is bad. It causes that delay, which is very. You can vary this delay via this variable resistor. So you don't mind the way it's staying long. Because I have that. Now, if it goes off, now because this toggle switch is on, it will start my generator. Let's see how we use this other guy here. Now, by the time, by the time these two guys are off, that doesn't mean my generator will go off. I can only put off this guy over here by clicking this one. Of course, my load goes off. If I put it on here, my load's come on. That is to say, if the system is completely off, we still have access to use our gen. Now, the system is off. When PHCN comes, my generator still go off. That is to say, even if the system is completely isolated, we still have an automatic changeover that is capable of switching off the generator. The only thing it could not do, this, it cannot do this time around, is to put it on when PHCN is all, it's, it's out. Okay, so what you've just seen is Automation Africa. 
This is the future of automatic changeover in Nigeria. But I need to add something to you. There's something we call central generator time. That means I can put on my gen, go sleep, and not have to worry because the gen comes on by 7 o'clock in the evening, by 12 midnight. It goes over itself automatically. And of course, I have the freedom of controlling my generator from my keypad, that's my Android phones or any other application. I can also do that from my phone. With my phone call, I switch on my gen, switch it off. But some other thing I need to tell you. This is affordable. At a very cheap price that you can never get anywhere, automation made easy. Now, you'll be wondering if you've got uh, special features you want to be incorporated into this device, please feel free because we can actually incorporate whatsoever feature you think you want to enjoy in this particular uh, device. Thank you very much. So, for more information, please check and contact us on the contact addresses and information you find on your screen. I mean, this is automation made easy. Anything you want, ranging from industrial automation, power control, domestic automation, home automation, whatever form of automation, the future is right here with other Thank you very much.